friends and welcome or welcome back to the Cozy Herbert channel. My name is Lynn and welcome to this reading vlog which is more like trying to get myself out of a reading slump vlog. I've been wanting to read a lot more for the last few months but I just got distracted by playing video games mostly and then I started to realize that the reason I still wasn't reading too well even though I was trying to focus on it was because I just wasn't really motivated to do any reading whatsoever because i just felt like i'd rather do other things but i really wanted to read again because i've been reading two books ever since february one of them was this one this is traces of two Paths, which is a novel from final fantasy 7 from the video game um i read it last year as well but because the newest game rebirth was coming out earlier this year i had this idea to read it again and i still really really enjoyed it it's a very good book it is basically the background stories of the two girls who play the main characters in Final Fantasy, Tifa and Aerith, and it's very very well written. Like one thing I can say which really stands out to me is that while Final Fantasy 7, like Remake and Rebirth are really action heavy, there's like lots of combat going on, and in this book there's barely any combat, there's barely any action, there are some tense moments, there are some explosions of action, but overall it's just very low-key and it's more like all about personal development like um you know the things that have made them into the persons they are these days and it is very very good however because i was reading it ever since february and i've already read it last year and i might have decided to read it a little bit too fast again um i decided not to read the final short story there's like a third short story in the back which is related to Aerith's story but i already read it last year and i i don't know i i'm gonna be honest with you guys i had i no longer had the patience to just read it it was only 50 pages so i don't i'm not sure why but i just yeah when i finished Aerith's story i was like you know what i'm i'm kind of done with this book i just want to do something want to read something else and it was not really helping me with my reading slump so i decided not to read the final story but um that's okay that's okay like that is actually one of the things i need to teach myself um and which i think will help you get out of a reading slump is to if you're no longer enjoying a book if it starts to feel like it's like dragging you don't have to force yourself to read it all the way to the end because if it doesn't know if a book does not bring you joy in that moment maybe later maybe later it will but um if it doesn't right now then why bother to keep reading it right because I don't know kind of feels like a waste of time so once more this is a lovely book and if you are a fan of Final Fantasy 7 I would highly recommend you read it also the final third short story it is really good but never mind I'm a bit in a funky mood at the moment a funky reading mood anyway just now I have finished reading another book which I've been reading ever since February which is called In Five Years and this is like a contemporary romance the story is actually about a young woman called Danny who you know she likes to plan out everything so she has this entire plan that when she's this age she will have achieved that when she's that age she will, she will have achieved another thing um and then when she's like 28 her boyfriend asks her to marry her and that is like all according to her plan like when she was 28 she would get engaged this she had this everything she had everything planned out so that all went well but on the night that she got engaged to her boyfriend she um then goes to sleep later that night and she has this dream which takes place five years later in which she's living in a very different apartment and is with a very different man later she wakes up she kind of freaks out because like what was that dream but she kind of like just lets lets it go and goes on with her life then around like i don't know it was like four years later um her best friend comes up to her and she wants her to meet her new boyfriend and guess who that turns out to be that was the man from her dream and then things start to get a bit complicated but not in the way you would expect like there's not there's not really a love triangle going on and i have to say that the story really developed very differently from what i expected and it turned out um into a storyline that kind of depressed me a little bit made me very sad and the story is more about like grief and and just you know sadness um loss 
And yeah, to be honest, the, that's not really my favorite theme to read about. I'm just going to be honest, I don't enjoy that. I know it's all part of life, but I don't really like to read it, read about it, or watch it in a movie or in a series for my enjoyment. I'm just going to be honest, that is not really my thing. So um, I have to say the book was very beautifully written and the ending was beautiful. It was very bittersweet, but it was, it, it was well done. It was well done, but I just think it's not really my cup of tea entirely so um with that said um i'm this is not really helping me get out of my reading slump because i'm like you know kind of stop one book which i liked but i don't have the patience for anymore and i have finished another book which just didn't make me very happy and actually made me feel a little bit down and kind of depressed so yeah right now my joy in reading isn't entirely back yet i'm gonna be honest it's not going too well um, but I have chosen my next read, which is this one, Sweet Bean Paste. Um, actually, I got this as a gift from my parents not so long ago, and I'm really, really excited about this book. Um, and I hope that it's a little bit more lighthearted, maybe, and just, you know, more, more my thing, more my cup of tea. But we will see. I will start reading it in this vlog, and then I will tell you more about the plot, what it is about, and my first thoughts, and all that. And um, yeah, I hope that you will still be around for that. Um, just wanted to say, um, if you are going for a reading slump as well, or if you have gone for a reading slump, if you've got any tips, leave them down below, because right now I'm a little bit, mm, I hope it will change later in this video, but we'll see, we'll see, because I really love reading, but sometimes, occasionally, I can just kind of lose my love for, for reading, and I don't know why exactly, I think it's kind of because you've been reading the same book for too long, or because you're reading books that don't really speak to you that much in that moment yeah anyway just let me know in the comments down below and if you've got any recommendations like maybe some more cheerful light-hearted books let me know uh, right now i really need them i'll start reading this one soon and i'll keep you guys posted
that's sure something I could use. A cure for the air conditioning. So welcome to the next part of trying to overcome my reading slum. I didn't expect it, but I think it might be working. So I started reading Sweet Bean Paste today. And all I can say, it is really, really beautiful. It's very touching. Like most of the book really takes place on one single location. And sometimes that can bother me. But in this case, it really doesn't because it is just, I don't know, it kind of reads really fast and it's really interesting. And the characters are just really interesting as well and somehow within like the first few pages i already felt really connected to them so uh sweet bean paste let me tell you what it is about very quickly it is about centaro a young man who has well he, he has failed he has a criminal record he's been in prison for a couple of years and then he started working in a shop where he started selling dorayaki which is like a type of pancake filled with sweet bean paste so that's why the book is called that way and uh, one day he's actually looking for someone to come work for him and kind of like take off the workload a bit. But one day an old woman with disfigured hands and like marks on her face comes in and asks him if she could work there. And he's like, well, I can't hire an old woman. So he tries to send her away. Then she comes back the next day and she has made sweet bean paste. And she tells him that the sweet bean paste that he makes, um, that she like cannot taste its soul. So she leaves her sweet bean paste at him. He throws it away at first, but then he picks it out of the trash again. Um, it's all like in the bag, of course. And then he, then he tastes it and he's like, whoa, that is really delicious. It's so much better than the sweet bean paste that I make. So after going back and forth for a bit, in the end, he does decide to hire her. And this is when they like get to know each other better and better. And that's when he discovers that this old woman has a very, very troubled past. And he gets to know her like a little bit more and more over time. And it is just so very interesting. And later in the book, there's like this young schoolgirl. She's like in, in her teens, um, who joins the story as well, who also has like a tale of her own. And you know, somehow their, their pets all come together and it's so beautifully written. So I'm a little bit over halfway now and I'm really, really enjoying the book. So I'll keep you guys posted uh, on my final thoughts in the book, but right now I'm really enjoying it. And it is definitely taking me out of this reading slump. So when I went away earlier today to, to come here to the Botanical Gardens to read, I was actually thinking about bringing my switch along or something because I was like, well, maybe I don't really feel like reading all the time. But I decided against that. I was like, no, I'm only bringing a book along so that I can't get distracted because that's just the thing that keeps happening lately. And that is why I haven't been reading a lot at all. Um, so yeah, that was a good idea. So I think this would be a nice tip that if you are in a reading slump, um, I think it's smart to just find a place outdoors to read and that you don't bring anything else along except for a book. And uh, you know, and even if, it, if the weather isn't as nice as it is now, you can still, you know, go to your favorite cafe or something and just order yourself a nice cup of tea, some cake and just read there without any distractions from, from games or whatever else you want to do. So yeah, I'm having a really, really great time and I'm so happy that I'm finding back my love for reading again because it was kind of gone. I kind of lost it over the last couple of months. So yeah, it was really nice. Anyway, I'm going to read a little bit more before I go home and I'll catch you guys in a bit.
Hey friends, so I have just finished reading Sweet Bean Paste and I know that earlier in this video I was already really enthusiastic about this book but I'm even more enthusiastic about it now. This is definitely one of those books that just gets better and better the more you read and um, I just read the final 20 pages and let me tell you those final 20 pages are absolutely amazing. Even those final pages are just an absolute masterpiece. Um, this book is so deep, um, it is heartfelt, it is beautiful, it is sad in a way, well it's actually, actually it's very sad, but in a way that, it's written in a way that it doesn't make you feel depressed, uh, it doesn't make you feel bad, because yeah, what can I say, <laughs> especially during those final 20 pages, um, the main characters actually talk about the meaning of life and the way it is, like the answer this book actually gives you is incredibly beautiful and comes very close to the, the way of thinking I've reached myself throughout the years. Um, yeah, it's really, really beautiful. It just, I don't want to spoil anything in case you want to read the book, but it's really just that many people think that their um, reason for living is to be yeah, like a useful member of society. Like you, you need to do everything according to what people expect from you. Like only when you've got like an important job, then you are part of society and then you are fulfilling your life's destiny. Um, this book kind of like makes it less complicated and more natural in a way. The role you need to fulfill in life is just you being here, being alive and just spread, spread goodness. But that is all I'm gonna say. It is so beautifully described in these final 20 pages. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's so wonderful. If you want to read a book that just is different from anything you've probably ever read before, and you want to read a book with a very deep, meaningful and, and hopeful message at the end, definitely read Sweet Bean Pace. It is absolutely amazing and I can only, only highly recommend. So has this book managed to help me to defeat my reading slump? Um, yeah, I actually feel like it has. I feel like picking up another book. Now, I'm still not sure which one, actually. I'm thinking uh, there's this book I want to read called Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies, which seems very magical and, well, very different from this book. Um, I really want to read that, but right now I'm thinking, should I maybe read an ebook first? I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm a bit indecisive at the moment. But yeah, I'm just glad that this book has definitely helped me like regain my passion for reading again i feel like reading again i feel like picking up another book and that is quite a difference from the last couple of months because i actually didn't really want to read like i said i wanted to but i didn't really want to so i think that this reading vlog and this trying to get myself out of a reading slump um is definitely been successful so just let me know like were you in a reading slump as well did this video maybe help you get out of it are you gonna read sweet bean paste too someday so i just want to say thank you so much for being here thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed this little video if you did please consider hitting the like button maybe even subscribe to the cozy herbal channel if you haven't already and um well that's it for me now so until we meet each other again as always stay cozy